Hello everybody, it's me Andrew and this is going to be your weekly reading for August 15th through the 21st. So this is going to be a week where we have a full moon. So the full moon is going to be on the 18th and this is really a time to, I think within in the first two weeks, in the first two days of this week, really getting ready, you know, readying a list of things that you want to release this full moon and then on the on the um on the 18th really um setting those intentions loose and watching them as they move away from your life with the energy of the moon so i am using once again the line strider tarot um for this week's reading so what i am doing i'm just shuffling the cards and seeing if any cards want to come up we have this one for the beginning of the week we have the middle of the week and then we have the end of the week with a bonus card that I'm going to lay right here okay let's see what we got oh this card actually came up for me today and this is actually perfect so and there's actually a moon in it, which is pretty cool as well, because it's actually a moon. Oh, that's awesome. So getting ready to go into the full moon, we do have um, a waxing moon in this, um, or I'm going to say it's a waxing moon, on this card. So this is a Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is really about making decisions, making clear-cut decisions. You may feel like you're at a place where you're at a stalemate, where nothing seems to be happening, but that's because you're not making a decision. You have to remember that not making a decision is making a decision. That is the biggest thing right now, is knowing that you have the power to make decisions that can shape your life for better or for worse. And making not making decisions actually shapes your life for the worst. So that's not something that we want. So this is definitely very important as we go into this full moon, making those, um, making those decisions about what we want to release and that this talks about the sword suit is about mentalities so this is about releasing mentalities that harm you releasing those defeatist mentalities releasing those negative thought patterns those negative mentalities and and really embracing the positive ones so for the middle of the week where the full moon is we have the seven of cups this is really interesting because the Seven of Cups to me talks about illusions being shattered. It talks about really, um, you know, seeing things as they truly are. And, you know, kind of being overwhelmed with a bunch of different ways to see something. And your emotions getting involved and your emotions not wanting something to happen or your emotions not wanting something to change. This is going to be what happens during this full moon. You know, once you make that decision to release what you no longer need and what you no longer want, those illusions of what were shatter because you see differently now. You see through different eyes. You see through the eyes of your higher self. And that is what is really gonna be happening in the middle of the week. Make no mistake about it, this is a painful process. Um, I'm gonna go into a little bit both so tell me back to this card in a minute. But like I said, it's a painful process, but it's one that needs to happen. It's one that has to happen for you to be able to grow and mature as a spirit so for the end of the week we have the eight of wands so this is actually really awesome because we see two different types of progression here we see the seven to the eight even though it's different suits we see seven to eight but then we have the eight of wands which is about progression even more which is about things really 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 going fast so once you start seeing things differently, once you start changing your mindset, once you release what needs to be released, then things are just going to start happening for you. And I just snapped my fingers. <laughs> things are going to start happening for you very, very quickly. And it's actually going to be something that you're going to kind of feel like you're in a whirlwind. You're going to feel like your head's spinning, but that's okay. You've got what it takes. You just have to know that you've got, that you've got what it takes. Because if you've been feeling like you're stuck, which going back to this card, feeling like you're stuck in a place, you know, all it takes is you to release what is no longer serving you to you be able to see clearly and then that's what causes you to move so they're also bringing me back to the swords because the swords are made to cut away things not to nicely cut but to like when someone uses a sword on someone 
or on something, they mean business. So this is getting cutting, getting rid of mindsets, cutting mindsets and mentalities and thought patterns out of your life so they will not come back. Cutting them at the root, knowing that once you use this sword, it is done. And if you need help doing this, Archangel Michael is the perfect angel to call upon for this because he actually, that's what he's known for, is carrying a sword that he uses to cut cords to people, places, and things that cause us grief, that cause us um, heartache and trouble. So this bonus card here, wow, is the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm going to put this right here. So this is going to be a week of learning. This is going to be a week of practicality. A week of maybe learning something that you wouldn't normally um, try to go out of your way to learn. So this is really about going back to school. It's about learning a new trade, learn, learning a new trade or craft. Um, really kind of expanding your horizons a little bit. Um, but really just about learning in general. Learning that I feel like brings success. So make sure that you're keeping you're keeping an open heart this week, and you're keeping an open mind to everything that that the universe has for you, and everything the universe is wanting to do for you. I am going to draw one last card from the Spirit Cat's um, inspirational deck for us all. So let me just see what we get here. as they just fall all over the floor. Let's see what we got going on. Okay, so this is our card. Oh, we have Intuition, Meet Ghost Kitten. She is the light within us that helps to guide us through our life. She is always beckoning us to enter our inner world to dig deep and to meet her there. If you are quiet, you can hear her whispering to you, perhaps about a creative project or a person you should reach out to, or even leaving a stifling job. Play with what makes her whispers louder and clearer for you. Maybe it's meditation, or sleeping enough, or taking a shower. Experiment with following your intuition and notice what magic unfolds. That is actually very, very good um, considering the theme of this week. So really listening to your intuition and your intuition is very, very heightened on the full moon as well. Um, some people, like they, they have a bit of a hard time with the full moon. They can't sleep. Um, I've never been one of those people. I'm a Cancer, so I am, um, the moon rules my my zodiac sign. So I, I never really feel that, that, um, that affected by it. But if you feel like you are affected by it, you know, take time for yourself. You know, take a salt bath, you know, take a nice shower, you know, just, you know, take care of yourself. That, that should be your first, your first um, instinct. So I wish you nothing but happiness this week, nothing but the best. I hope that you learn a lot and that you grow a lot. And if you would like to sign up for my course, Angels and Terry, which goes live in less than a month on September 6th, you can do so at the link below. Um, you can also sign up for the other Terry Summer School classes. Uh, that are available. You get lifetime access to everything, so you can do it at your own pace. It's really, um, it's really interesting. If you're interested in joining Andrew's Angel Crew, um, you can actually click the link below for that as well. We would love to have you, and I will be seeing you guys next week. Angel blessings and happy full moon. Bye.